Welcome back to Soundtrap. So last time we learned how to record with the metronome, and today we're going to talk about why that's important and what that does for you. So uh, let's start with the metronome. Now let's just record ourselves um, playing, playing a little song again with the metronome. So first, make sure your headphones are in. Make sure they're in the right ears and the left ears. And then um, make sure it's not in the way of your instrument. And uh, yeah, let's, let's record a little bit. I already have a mic set up. Um, but if you, if you need to see how this works again, let me just show you. You just uh, add a new track, vocals and microphones, um, test your mic. Great. And then um, you uh, start recording. And you can even just click start recording here. Turn your reverb off, though. And then you push the space bar to stop, or you can just click stop. And then what I did down here is I forgot I turned to turn the metronome on. Um, you want to have your metronome on so you can hear where the beat is. And I'll explain why in a second. So let's hear our song. Cool. So there's our, there's our music. It sounds fine. Um, now, the reason we're playing with a metronome is because we're recorded at a certain speed. The metronome tells us how fast we were going. In this case, it was 85. Um, and when we're going a certain speed, that's important because if we wanted to add a beat, let's say, or some drums, then we'd have to pick a beat, and it would also need to be at the same speed, 85. But the cool thing about Soundtrap is it doesn't have to. We can just say we want to listen to 909. That's a pretty sick beat. So say we like that beat, we can just kind of click it in there, and it adds it in. And then we can listen to our song with a beat now. Oh, sorry. I mean, close the loops. Click over here. Let's hear it with the beat. Now you can hear how it kind of lines up, but it's not exactly lined up. Um, that's because I think I started a little bit too early. Um, so let's try it one more time. Let's record it one more time. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until this little cursor gets to the two, and then, which is four beats, right? If we count it, we can listen to the music. We can actually hear that part, right? One, two, three, four, one. So get used to counting to four like that, and then try to take a breath on four. One, two, three. <gasps> So what that does is it helps us line stuff up better. So now that we're used to that, let's try recording. Um, we'll keep the metronome off because we have a beat playing. So now we can record it. And let's see how let's see how let's see how it goes. Three, four, one, and two, and three, and four. One, two, three. <gasps> Cool. So I just recorded my song. So see in the beginning, it's it's got. If you listen to just the beginning of this track, so let's solo it by hitting this headphones. Listen to just this track. One, two, three. <gasps> you can hear that part of where I started. Um, I just turned on the. This is this is always on usually. I just I turned it was off for some reason. Um, it's the snap to grid. So now that I know that that's up, what I can do is I can. Go over here, see this little part? This this cuts off part of it. So I'm, I want to cut off the beginning all the way up until the second measure. So let's see how, let's see how that lines up. Back in the beginning. Push enter, go back. Maybe let's just do it. So now, when I play it with the beat, it should line up. Let's hear it. Let's see if it works. A little bit off still, so you know what? Here, click that little dude, and just you're just gonna go like this. Just trim off a little bit of that. Put it back here. Let's try it now. Sick. So there you go. That's how it works. 